Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Christian. What and up? And Anna. Good evening. <clears throat> so, uh, tonight we are doing another round robin of, uh, of stuff because I think we've all kind of gotten a few different things. So, uh, I think that this will probably be a surprise, I guess, uh, with... Who has what? I'm not even sure what uh, what Christian has. So so yeah. So I guess <clears throat> Christian decided that I should go first. Is that right? Yep. yep. All right. So mine is uh, extremely amazing. Uh, he is a repaint, but not even really a repaint. Repaint. It's Cup. So as I uh, oh. alluded the other day when I sh like last week, he's like, "Oh, what about the cup? I I found the cup." So, so here we yes. go. He's, he's definitely, definitely a Bumblebee related character. character. Oh, hold on. The, let me see. Okay. Uh, Christian, can you talk now or Anna? Because I guess that they're saying there's an echo. I think I should have it fixed now. Okay, I'm talking now. Hello. Let me know if that fixes it, uh, Randall. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway uh so yes so this is cup okay there we go yeah um my software updated and that was why uh it i had to fix it so um so yeah this is uh this is my cup so um I wasn't really sure because I know Cliff Jumper is on his way as well uh, from Hasbro Pulse. And I was like, ah, should I get these guys? They're not like crazy repaints. But then I got them in hand compared to the other cup. And I guess my lighting's kind of dark here. So I don't know if it's really going to show that well. Um, but uh, like the eyes are definitely a lot better on the new one. Um, you know, having. I mean, like, I guess there's uh, there's light piping on the old one, but, like, it doesn't really, like, come through that well. And so, like, it looks kind of like he has dead eyes, whereas the new one, they just are painted blue. And so I feel like, in general, that the face looks a lot better. And then, like, the, the deco is just slightly different uh, as far as, like, the, uh, the colors. And so it just, I don't know, it just, it's weird because it's like not that much different, but it's different enough that it um, is, seems a lot better. Yeah, right. Right. But, like, it's nice, too, because, like, okay, so they have, like, gray wheels on the new one instead of black wheels and just some dumb stuff like that where it just, I don't know, the, the deco, and again, I, I probably need to bring another light in here. Um, the deco is just, like, slightly nicer on on the new one versus the old one. I'm still not so sure about the little, like, I don't know, whatever you know, I don't know what you call it, battle damage, whatever it is, like on this, like I guess it's supposedly animation accurate, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, I think I'd just as well not have it on, but it's fine. It's not as annoying as the old battle damage for, from Siege. 
I heard a rumor about why the original release was decoded the way it was. Because it's not really. correct. Like, you, right. you look at it, you're like, hey, this is not in the movie. The rumor has it that the original one is based on a popularly upvoted or liked post on Pinterest that was made by a fan. Not the actual animation model. There's been a couple instances of other figures taking influence from like the wiki head headline pictures for characters. So, yeah. Generally, for for some reason they're saying that uh, they can't hear you, Anna. Let me try and switch this. Oh well, no! Right, Consider that now? you can hear me. Keep, no, Anna, keep talking. I okay. I'll keep talking. I talked a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna keep talking. I'm hearing myself in the video feed. <laughs> okay, great. Oh no. Lucas, you're going. So I'll talk for you. Okay. So <laughs> here, I see if this works now. I just wanted to make sure it all was fine. So, all right, now Anna, you talk. Okay, Anna is talking. Hopefully, that's fixing it now. So I don't know. We have to wait Hopefully, for feedback. So, okay. Well, anyway. So this is this is the new cup. So it looks like Phil is in the chat. See Phil, here we go. I got my new cup. He was a yeah. So what Chris and I were discussing was the whole idea of Google searching for the the designers. It feels like they Google search for the most prominent images of said character, like you know cup, and they make the figure based on that most prominent image. And sometimes it's a single image, sometimes it's one or two images. But Christian was saying that perhaps that's why Cup came out a little strange the first time because that's a theory going around online. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that at all because. <laughs> so you still think that looks right after no, having the correct? No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there was an intentional choice, like this. I. I think that they decided to make it this way, but like not necessarily based on an image, if that makes sense. Like the eyes, like literally the only difference is the eyes are still blue on this. On the original one, it's just that they're light piping. It just didn't work. I think the chest, I feel like is kind of the same way where they just decided to go with this instead of the animation accurate one, you know? And so, I, I mean. Well, the green on his limbs is totally different. Yeah, I, I do agree that the, you know, whatever greenish, tealish, whatever is, is different on the new one. And so, and that looks a lot better too. But I, I, I don't necessarily know that it's like, oh, they pulled up some Google search and, and that that like didn't, you know, wasn't accurate or whatever. Like I could see where they like, I feel like in general, it's really hard to get the colors right on Cup. Like, I don't know. I feel like the uh, Remember, there's an the issue with the, one. Yeah, it's just it's yeah, a weird color. One. I I feel like it's like kind of somewhat of a weird color. So, but nevertheless, the new one is better. I like the new one. Like I always liked this mold too. Like I thought it was a kind of a fun, different transformation. Um, so really, the only thing I didn't like about the original one is the face. And since they painted the eyes, it looks better. The colors look a little bit better, so I'm happy with getting Yeah, the face this. is that kind of gray color as opposed to, like, that pale white color of the original release. Right. 
it's just a bit darker. Yeah, I think it definitely looks a ton yeah. better. The eyes alone, for yeah. me, save it. And like, Which I makes me wonder like, if I should just take a paint marker. I don't feel quite as bad get rebuying a twenty dollar figure as I do rebuying the fifty dollar figure. Like so, um, <laughs> it's okay. I, I still it annoys me. Like it's the same thing. Like the Galvatron that's going to be coming out where it's you know, I, like that's not going to have the battle damage, and then the the shoulders are going to be the way that I want it. So. Yeah. I'd be grumpy if I wasn't mold collecting the Cliff Jumper, but since I am, I'm fine with it because they look great together, honestly. I think the only thing that's hard about the Cliff Jumper is, is like none of the other cars have those blue windows. So, like, then. That's it, why I skipped it. Like, but I like. I do it. I like the deco otherwise, but like the other deco or the new one is more accurate otherwise. But then. Yep. But then, you know, it's going to be a moot point because they'll probably re-release all the rest of them. And then I'll be a, I'll be a sucker and rebuy all those, so. It's just a way yeah. to drive Christian crazy. Yeah, It would be just like doing the MP+. Plus. You know, they went back with the MP+, um, Plus and did the more tune accurate. So it would just be the same thing again. Wouldn't it just be great? all of those. Yeah. And then you quit MP. I did quit. I did quit MP. I did. Maybe it's because of plus. Maybe you're afraid of plus signs. I did buy Blue Streak Plus, but only because I got it on a super deal. I don't know. I, the new Cliff Jumper does look nice. He really does. That red just pops. The gray instead of the black on the limbs, fantastic. But the current Cliff Jumper, my Earthrise Cliff Jumper, looks really good with the rest of '84. Yeah. Painted windows would make it stand out way too much so at this point i'm collecting for the whole and that one's better for the whole that sounds i hear you correct the gray limbs make it look so much better though like and the i wish i could kit bash it together because I, I, i'm not above doing that but the clashing reds wouldn't work for me is red clashes with someone else's red if I could combine both of them, like just oh, take the new one and put okay. the windows on it. Yeah, the, the red looks a lot different. To darker red, so just different. Yeah. Yeah, when it works. I could just all, take but... the limbs, maybe. Ugh. But then you still have the painted windows problem. It's no. No, that sounds like too much effort. I would it's a lot of know, effort. just just mold collect it because it's such a great mold. I'm glad I brought you into the world, but that's not. <laughs> That's not a mold I need to collect. That's the first one you'll be skipping, though, right? Like, otherwise you would be mold collecting it. I guess that's true. Yeah. But well, I was doing it unintentionally. Like, there has to be, I feel like there has to be yeah. intentionality to do it. Yes, yes, yes. I have the intentionality. You don't have the intentionality. and You are healthier just, for it. It just happens. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do the cup, though. I, I think I just... I think the problem for me is just I can't think of a good way to use or get rid of the one I currently have, which almost was an accident to buy anyway. You know, like it was a moment of weakness. And then when I got it, I was like, what have I done? Because I knew I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> you could split them up into your fossilizers and make horrible abominations. Oh, there you That's go. a point. I could start making a dino monster monstrosity. He's a or good if you want to have one in the diorama, for that. You could, you could try and do the squid thing. Could, could. Or accessories for hot rod. I don't know. I could mix up a little bit of paint to try to get that color, fix it, and probably be happy. Usually, I'm happy with my own painting. Oh, uh, Randall brings up a good point. You could get him and then get the Target Master upgrade kit. So one cup is eighty six mm. version. One cup is Target Master version. Could I feel like I need to get those Target Masters, even though they don't transform. They look nice. Which kit is that for? Matrix Workshop has them, I think. Oh, okay. Randall could correct me if I'm wrong on that. Pretty sure it's them. I'm sure, I have some version of cups Target Master somewhere in my house. I have a lot of Target Masters. I don't even know who goes to who anymore. 
sure there's something here that works. Possibly the G11. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. I miss Battlemasters right. just for that. I could use a recoil. All right, Christian. So what do you got? I've got a type of figure we don't often review here. It's not a bot bot. I wish it was. There's no new bot bots. I have a live action figure. Ooh. Studio Series Bumblebee Ratchet. Look here he is. Too. He's cool looking. I've heard there's issues uh, with there's yellowing, not. which, I mean, I guess. Oh, how uh, nice. Maybe. Uh, Christian loves yellowing. Yet. Christian does love yellowing. I went on a crusade against it last year, in case anyone listening did not know that yet. You did a good job. But I, I like this ratchet because he's got really cool proportions. I don't know. He just looks neat. The white is the exact color white I like for ratchet. The red is the exact color red. This clear blue is just fantastic. He's got cool weapon storage. This is a cool gun. It's nicely detailed. It's nice and big. And then if you don't want him to like hang on to it, it just pegs onto his back in a really cool looking way. So know, have cool you guy. had any any QC issues? Because again, like I feel like people uh, you know like the look of him, but have had some like just QC issues in general with the figure, like just being kind of floppy and. And what I like, did they say that the, uh, yeah, okay. So I guess a little bit, good. not, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's too bad. I've heard yeah. people complain about the transformation saying it's like really hard. And it's not. It has new transformation steps, like stuff we haven't seen before. It's kind of cool. Like the way this, his whole upper body kind of turns inside out while flipping over at the same time. It's weird. It, it has to collapse into that small kind of lunar buggy looking thing. It all works, but the instructions are fantastically bad at telling you how it works. So it took me a while the first time I did it. But after that, it's like, oh, okay. You just flip everything inside out and turn it at the same time. Yay, done. Well, it, it doesn't do pretty, any plastic phasing. It's cool. It seems pretty complex, though, for like a deluxe figure, though. It is. It's more, more complex than what we're used to, but it's, it's totally fine. He, again, it, this is the just the design of these Bumblebee dudes. I feel like it really combines the aesthetic of G1 and live action really, mm -hmm. really well. Yep. You guys might say I'm well, going to say something blasphemous here, but I kind of wish this was green, not <laughs> white. He, I mean, he kind of looks like more of the live action dude. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he I could be. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, I feel like in general, neat. like, this is what I would have liked the, the movie guys to look like. I think it seems really cool because he, like, doesn't have a lot of kibble. You no. know, seems yeah. like it's pretty solid. He does have some fake kibble. Um, here is the real wheel. This is what he uses to roll in vehicle mode. And then he has fake kibble on the outside of his legs to make it symmetrical. I like the symmetrical, though. Yeah, I, you know. It's, it's neat looking. It has purpose. It's not just there to be annoying. There's the gun on the back. It just pegs into a little little hole right there. No big deal. But that's cool. Yeah, I think... I mean, it's cool they molded that in and everything. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to go whole hog on getting all these B guys. Because, yeah, I just don't... I don't need them. They appeared in these forms for, you know, five minutes or fewer. But I like Ratchet, and I like these colors. These colors just came out fantastic. Well, when we first saw the images with the, and the good lighting, it was like, oh, wow, that's like really white, and that's really red, and this clear blue is, is great. And he's got light piping here, which is cool. So I figured I'd, I'd give one of them a chance. And I did. Here he is. I definitely recommend him. Yeah, it looks really probably cool. probably get RC. I, I have, like, a really hard time with all that because it's, like, I really just do not need to expand the, like, goalposts of my collection, I guess. Um, I feel like I have enough of an issue uh, with collecting stuff, so it's, like, I've pretty much held off on it. Um, but, like, I do think that they look really cool. Like, I, I like all the the looks of, of those guys. And, I mean, who knows? Maybe if, like, stuff goes on sale, I'll, I'll pick them up, but... I'd, I'd probably capitulate if there was a, a good sale. 
like Ratchet today was briefly on sale for about 16 bucks on Amazon. And if you were able to get in for that, uh, I highly recommend them. I recommend them at full price. Uh, I went to Target and they were nineteen ninety nine instead of twenty two ninety nine. So something to keep a lookout for. Uh, I think I might get Ironhide, even though I don't really need two of this mold. But again, the promo images of Ironhide make it look like the colors have just come through really well. So we'll see. I think I'm going to get RC because she looks cool. I don't think I need Brawn or Wheeljack. But again, if they go on sale, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Ratchet's I cool. Ron looks really neat too. So, and honestly, the wheel—I mean, I think all of them look really neat. I think the sound they do. Have, his looked really cool too. Like oh, I do have yeah. Soundwave coming, and Ravage is here waiting for him. Yeah. So. Yeah, he looks really good. I'm never gonna like the face. You know, the movie style faces. I'm never gonna love them. It's a bit softer than the normal movie style. It faces. is. It's, it's less chewed caramel and more more solid i suppose you could say it definitely looks better than bronze face bronze face yes. is gonna be tough on me because i because i got braun i'm getting him i do want him i like that figure a lot the design is so cool looking but that face is gonna kill me <laughs> in my I sleep does have a, a whole waist thing going on here i don't know just the Ooh. way his proportions are and the way he can pose he pulls off some really epic looks I don't know, I just feel like any pose I put him in is just like, oh, yeah, he looks cool. I could put that on a poster. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a Ratchet fanboy. Yeah. He's a cool dude. Uh, definitely pick him up if you are at, in the slightest bit interested, because I don't think you will, you will dislike him if you have him in hand. The transformation is new and innovative. It can be a bit difficult the first time, but, you yeah. know, if you're a Transformers fan, you know how to transform things. You can do it, I believe in you. The end by Christian. Well, cool. Thank you, Christian. All right, Anna. Hi. What? what uh, what's your crazy favorite? My turn. You got? So today I was going to do something fun because I knew that I was going to get. So when I got the red knockout, right, he came with a messed up arm. His um, left shoulder doesn't turn like it's supposed to. Shoulders are supposed to move. Check your own. It's supposed to move. And his does not. So he's a bummer. I complained to customer support and they were like, we do not have this figure in stock, but we will send you something of equal value. So I said to myself, well, what I'm going to do is whatever I get today, because it's going to be random, I know it's going to be random, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to review it tonight. And then I got it, and it was this. And, I mean, like, not that it gets the figure. When you say figure, it was this, but... for, the, for any audio listeners, what's the... Oh, what yeah, it's the Studio Series Constructicon from the movie, Skipjack. Did he have a name before this, or did Skipjack just come out of thin air for this? He had a name as a Legends figure from the okay. Takara line of Revenge of the Fallen. Was it Skipjack? It was, yeah. Okay. I was just making sure it wasn't like Steven or Frederick. No, it was Skipjack. I mean, okay. there's a yeah. lot of Steven's name's been around since 2009. Like no, movies. could be one. Yeah. So, yeah, I got this. And, you know, honestly, like, almost any other studio series movie figure I would have opened and played with, but the one that is just part of the combiner, just not very exciting for me. So I didn't open them. I hate to disappoint. At least go for like a premium. No, he goes for an anti-premium. He actually goes for less than his retail, which is fine because he was free. Essentially, you know, my knockout is okay on a shelf. He's not exactly as fun to play with as he should be because I know eventually that arm is just going to break off because I do get movement, but it's definitely bending plastic instead of moving a joint. But anywho, I decided to bring back something that I got a while back that I never got a chance to like really in detail review. I think I talked about it in a um, Ouch My Wallet. And um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about it tonight. I did make sure before I chose to do it that you could still buy it because it has been out for almost a year. So there's always a possibility you won't be able to buy things, but it is still available. And about two years ago, the company that makes Figma and Good Smile announced they were going to do a transforming action figure, an original transforming action figure, a robot lady that turns into a bike called Cycleon. 
Um, they always call this the lavender version, type lavender, as if they were going to release a whole bunch of different types. However, you know, it's been a year since it came out and we haven't seen anything about a type, you know, anything else. So I suppose this is probably it. But it was well, an all original that, design. like, you can still get it and, and find it, like, easily, uh, you know. It Maybe didn't it didn't sell, sell super well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think part of it's the price. You know, it's priced like a good smile figure. Good smile figures are expensive. If you collect Figma or Nendoroid, you know that their toys are expensive. You know, this is priced in the $75 to $100 range, depending on where you find it. And it's not big. So that can be part of the problem with having it. Also, part of the problem is that compared to Transformers, it doesn't really compare. But I did manage to get it into bike mode, which it is really, I wish I had a deluxe over here right now. All I have is very large figures. Is there any deluxe back here? Nope. Or very small figures. So nothing will really work for it. But it does work as a bike for your deluxe figures. It has really awkwardly placed handlebars that are far on the side in kind of a strange bike form. You know, like you can still see her feet in the back of the figure and the curve of her back is the part where a person would sit. But, you know, it definitely, it's a motorcycle for certain values of motorcycles, right? It works. Okay. Um, it has a very simple transformation. And it feels like a very nice figure, like the plastic's good, it has a little bit of metal here and there. It's just, it's a good feeling figure, but it also feels like something that should have come out like five or six years ago, probably. So I wouldn't call hmm. it a disappointment, but I wouldn't call it amazing either. But I'm going to convert it real fast and just say that, um, you know, I got it. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I, I feel like in general, like, these types of figures where it's not based on, you know, a, a, an IP or whatever, cartoon, comic, uh, all that type of thing. I mean, I just think it's just, it's a hard sell for a lot of people, especially as an expensive figure. I think that, like, you know, if you're spending, you know, if it's like a knockoff, whatever, that... Uh, turns into like a baby buggy or something then like yeah like obviously everyone's gonna line up to buy that but you know so, some of these where it's like a little more expensive it's it's kind of tough yeah and i think i think it is because you know a lot of our a lot of our fandom is fueled on nostalgia we all know that right. we talk about it constantly and this does not have the nostalgia card to play on you at all you know it's it's a completely new thing unrelated to any other thing and yeah that's a bit of a problematic part well, to it i mean i think that's the thing for me is like a lot of that stuff it looks really neat but it's like i do not have infinite space or budget and so it's right. like you you have to have some type of you know edges to your collection and so that's that's the thing is is that like as much as i think it'd be neat like for these types of things like i would like to get it it's just again just Hard to hard Getting to, it for uh, me, I yeah. I found a reason to get it because I have a friend who collects things like Figma and anime figures and stuff, but not Transformers. So we used it as kind of a bonding experience between the two of us. We they got to get a figure like they usually get, and I got to get a figure like I usually get, and it was somewhat fun. But you know, the end result is not the world's best toy in the world. It's just really okay. So I got it back into robot person mode. Yay! You transformed yours as well. It is much cheaper. I took that long. This is very simple for the price point. So, you know, it is it is a robot lady figure. It does look good for what it is. As far as, you know, does it have good posability? Sure. You know, it's got enough joints and whatnot. Does it have... 70 to a hundred dollar figure posability no it doesn't you know it doesn't really have angle tilt it has heels that you can move to the side so you kind of have a little bit of ankle posability if you pretend a little bit right like it's an odd it works to help it stand up christian i swear but it's very strange it also has a moving toe which you know again not the most helpful for posing but it, it works in its own strange little way came with multiple hands so it can hold its knives 
I just have the fists on it right now. Um, and yeah, I really like the design. I think it's a fun design. Um, I really like it when they do robot hair. For some reason, that was always amused me quite a bit. And one of the reasons I got it is I thought it would probably look pretty good with Nicey, who doesn't really have other figures to hang out on the shelf with because she's so strange looking. And in fact, you know, she actually does display reasonably well with Nicey, considering it's car versus bike. The size is about right. And the look actually works pretty well. I obviously, Nicey is significantly sexed up compared to the Cycleon, but... Um, Definitely good in my display. I'm happy with having it. I don't want to like sell it or get rid of it. But as far as would I recommend anybody else run out and get this? Probably not. Just because as a Transformers collector, you're going to feel like it misses the mark a little bit. It's just got that awkward bike mode and the transformation isn't very complex or anything. But it's still fun. Definitely don't dislike it by any means it's not the right home to your mom figure that nice he is though <laughs> you write home to your mom and you apologize you write yes, a very I, very well worded apology <laughs> but um one of the reasons i wanted to talk about her was just because um i figured that you know other people are going to be thinking what i was thinking like that she would look good with nicey and like i said she does and the repaint of nicey mocha just came out or is coming out depending on your shipping speed so people might want friends for her so i figured she's a good candidate for that as long as you have infinite money and you don't mind spending So, like as far as the possibility like, you were saying that the ankle tilt like isn't really there um, I guess is there no waist swivel, but I guess there's a pretty decent range of motion on the legs. Yeah, the legs are good enough. You know, they can't quite go up 90. If they go far enough, the knees move. There's no, like, back. hip movement. Um, do they go back a little bit? Her kibble gets in the way. Yeah. She's got the wheel on the back of her leg. And then, and then the big wheel on the, the other back. Like the arms and uh, waist and... The waist does not move, so that's a bummer. Um, but it's transformation. The head is on the ball joint, so you get a decent amount of motion on it. The hair moves, but just for transformation. And the arms have pretty much the full range of emotion. Emotion! <laughs> the arms are very emotional. The arms have pretty much the full range of motion you would expect. They have the movement at the elbow and the bending and not quite actual double jointedness, but she actually gets to a closer human limit of the elbow than most toys do. And then the rest move just fine and alternate hands. So posability is, I would say medium. Like it's, it's not terrible by any means. It's just not quite what we expect right now and not quite what you expect for a figure of this price. I'm going to say definitely it had the look of an expensive premium figure but it doesn't really have the play of an expensive premium figure. Especially considering Figma, the line they make is so posable, right? Like right. those figures are excessively posable and also very breakable. I do worry a little bit about fragility, just knowing that other good smile toys are pretty fragile. This doesn't feel fragile at all. Who knows? You never know what's going to happen. So like I said, I'm happy with it. Generally wouldn't recommend it unless you were really just, you know, specifically into either this kind of thing, you want a friend for an IC, or you have infinite money and you want to support a random Japanese company. There you go. Yeah, that thing looks people... neat. But yeah. yeah. It definitely has a very good look to it. The metallic is cool, the paint is cool. Just like all good smile products, you know, the paint is immaculate, the colors are immaculate, the plastic is perfect. It's you're not gonna have complaints about the figure for what it is, unless you just don't like what it is. So mm -hmm. I would I would recommend it to people who knew exactly what they were getting, but the general Transformers fans shouldn't get this as a substitute for some bicycle person because it's not gonna work. 
I don't even know who she could be, right? Because she's not blue enough to be Prime Marcy and nobody else is purple and silver in a bike, I don't think. Because sometimes with third party stuff or things that aren't quite third party figures, they're still homaging something from Transformers. I don't think she technically is homaging anything. Uh, not really. Just a new Doesn't design. Like Which is still cool. Like, I like that kind of stuff, right? Part of my collecting is weird original designs that also happen to be transforming robots. Like, that I almost like more than um, just getting another Optimus and Starscream. Not that I ever skip the next Optimus and Starscream like I should, but I just find this a little more exciting. Honestly, I'm really glad I had the excuse to get her off the shelf because I actually hadn't played with this since... I first got it. And now I have again. Yay. All right. So it's a real hodgepodge tonight between us, right? We had a Studio Series movie figure, a Studio Series Bumblebee figure, and then some random Figma thing. Technically not a Figma. Like, this just is pretty good much smell. the way it's going to go. You know? <laughs> Like, All of our personalities. A, ha a Hasbro, a Hasbro figure, a Hasbro figure, and whatever weird stuff Anna pulls out. Hey, I have, I have, on the way to me right now. I think I have three different things. One is the repeat of IC. One is a Hasbro figure, and one is a knockoff. So there's a variety See? there, right? Yeah, there, there you go. It's a perfect variety. It's exactly what you would expect from me. But there will be a Hasbro figure, and I will talk about it. There you go. Probably. So. I don't know what Hasbro figure that is, because I don't know. I guess it'll be a surprise. Yeah, there you go. It will be a surprise. Even to me, because I know it's coming, but I forget what it is. <laughs> it's something. All right. All right. Well, um, thanks, guys, for joining us. Um, so there will be a cut the tape this week. So look out for that tomorrow um, on YouTube. So and then on Monday's show for TFLP, we are going to uh, recap whatever happens at TFCon this weekend. So hopefully we'll have some new uh, reveals to uh, to discuss. Um, so we will see. And the super cool exclusives. There are some cool exclusives, so yeah, so, uh, you know. Both we'll, of them are uh, super cool so far. We'll have to uh, discuss all that on Monday, so, but, uh, but yeah, thanks guys for joining us, and thanks to uh, everyone in the chat, thanks to Phil and Randall and Catherine, um, yeah, so, I guess that's about it, so, oh, and then uh, Book Club is taking a week off this week, so... Uh, but check it out next week. Um, so on the TF Talk Discord. So, all right. Well, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week. See you next week.